Okay, great day. Uh, today I'll be discussing how to use pivot table or pivot table in organizing your quantitative research data. So uh, here with us is an example of a data extracted or exported from a Google, okay, from a Google Sheet. So as you can see here, we have our independent variables or the characteristics of the respondents in terms of sex, grade level, and strength. And the QS here, okay, and the QS here are those questions, okay, are the questions that is inside in, that is inside of the survey. So data analysis is one thing that we need to know in data analysis is that it follows the statement of the problem. So if you have, if, you, if your question number one is a descriptive question which talks, of, which talks about the characteristics of your respondents, the first thing that you need to do is to ask yourself what, what means of data analysis can be applied in this kind of question. So in the question, what are the characteristics of the respondents in terms of sex, age, grade levels, trans, Usually we are using the descriptive means of analyzing or presenting the data. We use the frequency or the simple count, and then we have the percentage. So in this sample frequency data chart, uh, you have sex, okay? And you have the frequency count, which is five and five, and then 10 as a total number. And then you also get the percentage, okay? You also get the percent. So say for example, we have five, five. Uh, so we have 50% and then 50%. So the, as for the ranking, since they got the same rank, we just add one and two, and then the, which is equal to three, and then divided by two, which falls under 1.5, 1.5 rank. We do this if we have ranking, if we have frequency cut, uh, frequency count that ties with one another, just like this, five and five. In another example, we have the strand. So frequency and then ranking, okay? So we have uh, multiple uh, occurrences wherein the, the characteristic has the same number with the other. So here we have five, five, three, five, three, and then two. And then same procedure applies. You just count it uh, continuously, those that has the same frequency number and then divide it how many times or divide it onto how many occurrences. So that will be the ranking. But how can you create a table? How can you create a table out from this? Say for example, you have 100 data and then you need to count how many male, how many female. So if you have with you uh, Microsoft Excel, you can all you can easily use the pivot or the pivot table application or the pivot or pivot table uh, command, which in which is under insert. Okay. So here in the ribbon above, we have home, insert, page layout, etc. You just need to click the insert ribbon and then click the pivot table, okay? Again, insert, click insert, and then pivot table. So click pivot table, and then it will ask you to highlight the necessary data. The necessary data starts from uh, the label, okay? Going to the last label, going down to the last respond, or the, the last response. Now, the next question to ask is choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. Uh, as for me, I would like to, to have it in a new worksheet and then click OK. So it will now appear. It will now appear on the next table. So what to do? So if you want to have a summary of your, a summary of your data for uh, sex, say for example, you will see that there is a command or a column here which says pivot table fields, pivot or pivot table fields. So we have here sex and then 
you have the areas such as filters, columns, rows, and values. So simply follow these instructions. Number one, drag sex to rows. Drag sex to rows. And then you will now see that uh, the options, which is female and male, will appear on the Excel sheet. And then once again, drag sex to values. Drag sex to values. And then you will now see the count of sex. So there are 12 female and nine male in the data sheet. We want to get now the percentage. You just drag again sex to values. And then right click on the third column label. Right click on the third column label. Again, right click on the third column label. And then please hit show values as. Show values as. And then click percent of grand total. Percent of grand total. And then you will have the percentage. So you can now uh, copy, okay? You can now copy it to another table so that you can create another pivot table, okay? So before we skip table number one or before we go to table number two, let's change the label. You can now change it with sex. And then here you can write frequency. And you can write here percent. Then, then you have your first pivot table. Now, let us continue. On the second pivot table exercise, let us have the grade level. So you just need to uncheck sex, uncheck. And then insert grade level in the row. And then insert again grade level in the values. And then insert another column in the values for grade level. As you can see, we don't need the sum. We don't need the sum. Probably uh, the Excel look uh, the the Excel process it as a number uh, because in the choices in the spreadsheet it says 11, 12, 11, 12, 11, 12. So uh, Excel might process it as a number to be uh, add rather than to count. So what we will be doing is here in the second column, you will right click sum of grade level. You will right click sum of grade level and then click summarize values by. Summarize values by and then click count. And then it will appear now the count level. Now, if in your, if in your work, it does not show sum, but it's already count, don't change it anymore. We need the count. We need the count for that second column. So however, if by chance, what appeared to you is a sum, right click on it, right click on it, okay? And then click summarize values by. Again, for second column, to get the count instead of sum, You will check, you will right click and uh, summarize values by. Then summarize, then summarize values by. And then you will click count. Okay, now here in the third column, we need to get the percentage. So again, right click and then show values as and then percent of grand total. For third column, to get percent of grand total, 
right click on show values as then click percent sorry then click percent of grand total so you will you are, you you have now two tables okay you have now two tables so you can simply change this you can simply change this in what as grade level then frequency and then percent now you can now create a chapter four out from this because technically speaking these tables you are creating is a is preparation for chapter four which is the presentation and analysis of data this is very very important because the chapter four creates uh, or should I say, answers all the questions that you have prepared in the statement of the problem. And each problem stated in your SOP requires you, okay? It requires you to have an appropriate statistical analysis, okay? So I have prepared here, okay? Uh, I already prepared here a chapter four, which I used in my class early this morning. And then it says chapter four, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. This chapter, represent, this chapter presents the data collected in a manner provided by the research design. The interpretation of the data showcase the results of the statistical analysis that has been conducted from the data collected. Related literatures and studies were used to support the statistical results to strengthen the claim of the study. So in writing your chapter four, you need to start first with a question. Write your first SOP or write your first specific questions. Number one, what is the characteristic? Okay, what is the characteristic of the respondents in terms of, okay, say for example, you have, uh, let's go with, okay, let us compute first this trend. Let us uh let us get first the strand uh how do you say this the, the pivot table for strand so let us copy this okay and click again and click and then check the strand and then uh again go to values and then another drag in values so as you can see here it's already count Okay, so we don't need to right click this. However, the third column, we need to right click this, show values as, and then percent of grand total. So, yan. So, we already have here the, the count of strand and the percentage of strand. So, we will just change it to strand and then frequency. And then we also have percent. As you can see here, there is a mistake here. Uh, the, in the survey that was conducted in the Google form, the Yum's choice was repeated twice. So therefore, the Microsoft Excel uh, read it as a separate, uh, as a different entity. So later we will just add it in the summary. So four plus one, we will just write this, write it as five, and then uh, here 19.05 plus 4.76, which is 23.81. So we will just summarize it like that. So what, what do we need to do now is to copy paste it. So write, just copy, okay? Just copy the table and then paste it, okay? Paste it in a new, in your chapter four, okay? Let's paste it in your chapter four, okay? So just a warning or just an advice in pasting a table from an excel please paste it as uh how do you say this the this the second the sec, the second icon that says use destination style why because if you just copy paste it control v 
it will not be organized. So what you will do is right click and then the second, the second icon, use destination style. And then as I said a while ago, we will combine this Yums thing, since this is only one, delete. Okay. And then five, and then just copy this 23.81. Okay. So let's change this into capital letters. Okay. Let's, ask, I, let's see if this will work. Font and then all cups. Yeah, it works. So we will just copy this. Okay, we will just copy this to the document of your chapter four. Let's proceed now. So say for example, we're able to copy it. And then please do not forget to write. Do not forget to write the caption. In the caption, okay, in the caption, you can write your caption under the reference section in the upper part, in the upper, re upper ribbon of the Microsoft Word. It says references. Just click references. Okay. When you click references, it says here insert caption. Then you can write frequency distribution table for strand. And then uh, huh, table. And then you can write it uh, below selected item. So here is the interpretation of your chapter four. Okay, so my advice for to research to senior high school research writers, uh, remember that the statement of the problem is the one that fuels you to seek answer. The motivation drives you until the end of your study, because the mo the the objective, okay, the objective is the reason why you are working. And then the problems, these are the specific, these are the specific uh, task that you need to accomplish. That is why you are collecting data, whether you are having a qualitative research design or a quantitative research design. The questions are very important because it, it tells you to, hey, researcher, this is the one that you need to answer. And to give the proper answer to this question, you need to have the appropriate statistical tool or statistical analysis for so that you, you will arrive in the appropriate response to that question. Again, this lecture video starts with pivot table or pivot table until the chapter four of your research study. Good luck researchers and enjoy doing research. Thank you.